The first question is, are Capricorns tricky eaters? By the way, I'm a Capricorn if you don't know. You're like, who's a Capricorn? Me. Next time we're gonna do it on Lee. So Capricorns are too busy to give food much thought. They don't like food that is too messy, sloppy, or overdone. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna put cheese on something, don't have cheese overwhelm it. Capricorns are known to de de deconstruct an entree just to get the way they like it. Hola, welcome back to T. And Lee. TV. What you say now? What you do now? T and Lee, and we back with the crew now. Crap shrimp, and you know we review now. Cooking up all this real nice food now. What you said now? What you need now? Look on screen screen HD now. Go ahead and subscribe, join the family. T and Lee is the place to be. All right, y'all, so welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, we have a plethora of food yes, today. Yes, we do. But before we get started to the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Tinley TV because... It's the place to be, y'all. It's the place to be, y'all. Don't forget to check the description box for what? Our personal channels at Sonaya. Those links will be down in the description box below. And y'all can't forget our vloggy vlog channel. Can't forget it. The vlog channel, yes. So today on the menu we have, I'll let Lee talk since I always talk y'all. So we got us some um something new on the menu. Something new, new, new. Y'all see that title? Yeah, you see it. So we got us some bison burger. Let me move this top. Bison burger. So it's a bison patty. Mm -hmm. Um I got a pound of it, so I made two uh half pound burgers. Mm -hmm. And then we also have some regular uh Publix patties. Yeah, uh, 100 regular, beef. Yeah, 100 percent beef, just regular patties, beef burgers. Mm -hmm. This is beef too, but it's bison, y'all. It's bison. Bison, never had that. Okay. And then on the side we have some we we're gonna do some hot dogs, yeah. but then we decided to we decided to do some chicken wings. Yes. So we got some chicken wings and in the middle we got them extra crispy french fries. Yes, yes. So let's go ahead and pray it up. Yes, before we let's get to uh come with ourselves. Lord, we like to thank you for this food. That no harm should come through this food. That this food should be nutritionist to our body. And our Lord in Jesus Christ, amen. Amen, y'all. So let's get started. So we got our little bowls today. Ooh, yeah. In the back, we finally... I ordered these, y'all. They canceled it, but nevertheless, we got them. That's a ranch out time. Ranch, ketchup, and then I have ketchup. And then in the front right here, you see, that's tiger sauce. So that's what I'm going to dip that in. So yeah, we're going to get it started. Yeah, that's good. Let's get it started. And I got some um, apple juice. No, oh. grape juice. <laughs> He has the uh, white grape cherry juice. How many of y'all had to wash this white grape cherry? It's good. Mm-hmm. So, Let's get right in there. to drink, I have my one concealer. Yeah. But y'all, yeah, I've helped some in previous videos. I need something to put the ketchup on so I won't stay in the board. I like it. You like it? I like it. I ordered them like, Maybe two or three weeks ago, they canceled my order, so I finally reordered them. And they, I reordered it yesterday, and mm. it came today. Where to go? I know. I'm like, it made me not want to reorder it when they canceled it. Mm. Amazon usually do good, but sometimes Amazon be tripping. Mm. So, we didn't eat today, per usual. I do. So, I'm hungry. The chicken wings, you see them bust them open like that. Mm -hmm. Don't tell part like that, you got your problem. So Lee cooked everything. I'm gonna try one by so. So hats off to the chef Lee. Thank you, thank you. No problem. We're gonna try the bison together? Mm-hmm. I'm all in his ranch. Mm -hmm. But I got some over here. You got some tiger over there. Mm-hmm. Go and get that tiger. Yeah, we share. What's his is mine. And what's mine is mine. I'm just kidding. What mine is his. That's a true statement. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, we share. No. Mm. The wings, the good, are tender, and um, it's good enough to take us off. I love wings and tiger Mm-hmm. That's why I always grab it. Ooh, they're nice and hot. Y'all, everything is hot. We tried to leave. I'm talking about weed, like I was cooking. I was just looking. <laughs> mm. You was cooking in soul, girl. Y'all was just looking, trying to set up and get the little sauces. I made the sauces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And she set us up here. Yeah, I set it up too. Mm -hmm. Trying to, you know, try different things to set up. I got Lee over here in the new setup with me. Mm-hmm. Yay! Mmm. <laughs> mm hmm Man, so that's that bison right there. Mm. Uncle Paul. I got a double right here. We gotta taste that bison together. Okay. I'm gonna try the regular though. Mm-hmm. See? I started liking my burgers plain. Mm -hmm. With just ketchup, mustard, or if I go to a restaurant and just ask for it plain, because I don't want none of the 
sometimes they put too much on it. Mm -hmm. And it be all extra wet, and then my mind get to thinking that you did have an attitude earlier when I let the speaker mm -hmm. box. So I just be asking for a plane. That's so funny because, y'all, you know, before the video, me and Lee was talking about, I was telling him how I was watching something and it made me look up like, what does my zodiac sign like to eat? Mm -hmm. I was telling him I'm gonna talk about a little bit. I'm gonna talk a little bit about it more later on in the video, but one of the things that was saying that um, that we hate messy burger, like we hate messy food. I was like, oh my god, this thing is hitting the nail on the head. So yeah, we gonna talk about that. Like, oh I don't god. swear by zodiac signs or nothing, but sometimes they be a lot of the times they be hitting the nail on the head. And this is the little patty. Let me show y'all the difference real quick mm -hmm. before I start diving into. So this is a regular patty. This is the bison patty. You can see the difference. So the bison is is a half a pound, and I don't know how big the regular. Yeah, I don't know how big the regular patty is. It's, it's different. But it looks so good when he was cooking it. I was like, is that the bison? I had left and got Renaya. When I came back, I seen it on the grill. I was like, is that it? He was like, yep. Mm. I made the patties by hand, nice and you know, circular, pretty shape. Yeah, we were pretty like. Yeah, learned it from. Um, so oh, we had to have because that's what made me ask you. Like, is that the box? I wasn't sure because <laughs> they look like you know it was made in the box. Yeah, we made it from scratch burgers mm. from steaks, but the leftover pieces. Mm. Well, we made them good. That's yeah. how they save their money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have had bison before, on the other hand, okay, Lee has it. Mm -hmm. I had it at a Christmas party. My mom, when I was it when I first moved to St. Pete. Me and my mom went to a Christmas party and they had bison. They were slicing it. Okay. And I tasted this with that. But I never had a bison burger. We're gonna try it. Let's not. I'm gonna wait for the other burger. Yeah, let's not waste some oh, time. Wait. What? Oh wait, do you want to buy the regular burger so we know what regular beef tastes like? Mm -mm, I just want to go to the bison. I know what regular beef tastes like. You sure? <laughs> I'm sure. But we don't know what the public beef tastes like, so we got something to compare I to. We have one. Well, okay. I have, definitely. Yeah, okay. We'll, okay. Try, we'll try a plan. Mm-mm, I want some ketchup on it. Okay. We messed up. Okay, that's it. That's the bison. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a little piece of bread. You okay. got it. You want ketchup on your one? Yeah. Right on top. Right on top. Tell me what to stop. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Some... We'll do a little mustard too. Yeah, I'm a little mustard. Shake it up. Yeah, shake it up. Okay. Yeah, I like ketchup on my burger. I really like it. Can I have the mustard? Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't like a lot of mustard, y'all. I like mustard, but not a lot. I like about that much right there. And I like about, I'm gonna show y'all. That much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Switch that on now. Did y'all even see that? You probably like, what you should have touched the, the top and the bottom button together so it's a bow. Oh yeah, that's true. Alright, let's do it, baby. Okay, you ready? I'm slipping and slide. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Mm-mm. What? -mm. More like dry. Mm-hmm. You probably gotta put this. Huh? You probably got to cook a medium well. Mm. I mean medium. Mm. Mm hmm mm. So the flavor. What is you using this with? Just um, salt, pepper. That's it. And then this one got a little bit of um, what I told you. What? Cinnamon. Accidentally. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can taste it? No. Mm. Want to try it? Y'all, oh, yeah, so. No, I'm joking. It's kind of dry. Kind of, not the word that it's dry. <laughs> I don't know if it's because. Oh, we're cooking. With bison, yeah, with bison, you probably definitely have to cook it to like a medium or something. You probably can't cook this all the way through. That's a challenge. Mm hmm. Eat that and, and live. Mm. Tell a story about it. This is dry. Yes, it is. <laughs> So I'm so glad that we had Becca what, burgers. <laughs> yeah, you suggested that. Mm-hmm. Let's turn backwards so you don't want to see that. Don't do my bison like that. <laughs> Y'all, we honest on this channel. We are. 
If I messed up, I messed up. I it, can't fix it. Even, if, I don't know. even if we do something wrong, we're on this side. But the chicken's good, though. Mm hmm. So the flavor tastes like beef. Mm. And this is dry. It tastes like a better quality of beef. But yeah. it tastes like if it wasn't dry, it would be really delicious. Brother, you take your stand up. I'm sorry. I'm, no. just, I'm telling the people. Why somebody gonna be in the comments? Yeah, y'all should have known bison was dry. People don't eat bison, we don't know. No, I'm gonna wet it up. You gotta wet it up. You gotta dip in the ketchup. It's better to you swallow it. <laughs> Try to swallow it. And then it's right. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. These fries, man. I'm glad I picked these up one day, man. I know they're good. But yeah, I still would recommend y'all try it because it, I can still tell in the dryness. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to say it dry. I'm not trying to be funny. <laughs> oh, I can tell through the dryness. <laughs> it's a, a, it's a better quality of the beef. It's just, how much it cost? It's kind of pricey. It was kind of pricey. That's why we got a pound of it. We got a pound. Because it was one show, we will like it. Mm hmm. How much was it? I don't remember. Don't get me to lie. Mm, it's, it's not like super, I don't know. You don't want it? You can put it there. You too good for it? Mm-mm. Y'all, when I put this over here with Lee, I'm like, he gonna be like, that's a big chicken. But I'm just trying to make it look nice. All right, but anyway. See? The Juicy. The difference. Juicy. I don't think it's super expensive like I was saying, but I do, I know it's more, it's, it's not like, Regular beef. Uh. I think it was like ten dollars a pound or something. Ten dollars a pound? I think. Was it? Got a got oh yeah, dollars. that's right. It was like eleven dollars or something because he went a little bit over. It was like ten dollars. I think, a I think pound. like nine ninety nine a pound. Y'all, it's expensive. Because regular ground beef is um how much? Not that much. Mm. Ranch on that burger, man. Mmm, this chicken good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna like some mess my hand. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, just a little while ago somebody was roasting me. You know, when I was putting the fries on here, I was like, should I put them all on there? I was like, Lee eating, we eating. I'm eating with Lee, yes, put them all on there. Put them all on there. Mm-hmm. He was like, fries. Butter fries. Hmm. Let's try my regular burger. <laughs> Is it? Don't do me like that, man. I'm just asking. It's decent. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be salty. Make sure when you when you finish putting that on there, uh, dip it before you bite it. Why did I dip it? Dip Did you dry it. too? Dip it. Dip it. Babe, it looks so juicy. How you dried it out? We done dried out the burgers, y'all. Mmm, ain't much more juicy than that one. <laughs> Pretty old. I'm gonna sit here and keep being disrespectful. <laughs> what you win, son, you lose. Mm -hmm. You live. You live the fighting up there. Mmm. So. I hope y'all have a wonderful night. I really do. Hope you're eating something good. Mm-hmm. Shout out to everyone who checked out my chicken heart video. Now they say he was not doing with me. Not doing it with me. Thank you for the love. Mm -hmm. Thank you for showing her that love. <laughs> because there's a lot of hearts in the building. Mm-hmm. On the table. There's a lot of hearts. I'm going down, eating, <laughs> eating, <laughs> eating, <laughs> eating them. Okay, so like I said earlier, I was telling Lee about the Capricorn stuff because I was I forgot what I was watching. Mm. But um <clears throat> I looked up things oh no, I knew I should have changed it. I knew it. Mr. Bison. You're choking. I know. Look, you're choking. Mr. Bison. The um, bison hurt. I knew I said I should change it better. I was like, no, I should be fine. 
Every time, right before I feel, whenever I finish filming, I always change the battery. Yeah, that's, that's the routine, man. You gotta do it. Okay, y'all, we had changed the battery. Yes. Okay. So, how many, how many down below if you, have, if you guys have heard of specific signs like it's certain things to eat and stuff? I know it's certain characteristics, but as far as food, I was just like, I never looked into it. So it first starts off by saying what Capricorn should eat. And it said we're earth signs, so we need to support our bones and our teeth. We need calcium rich food like oranges, lemons. I love lemons, I love oranges. But then it says kale, corn, I love corn, peas, whole wheat, oats, and brown rice. What about nose? Huh? What about noses? Noses? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, y'all. <laughs> Mm. I just taste the toastiness. We toasted the bread. I taste it. Rock a thumbs up for the good toasted bread. Mm. More delicious. So. so, the first question is Are Capricorns picky eaters? By the way, I'm a Capricorn if you don't know. You're like, Who's a Capricorn? Me. Next time we're going to do it on Lee. So, Capricorns are too busy to give food much thought. They don't like food that is too messy. Sloppy or overdone. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna put cheese on something, don't have cheese overwhelming. Capricorns are known to de de deconstruct an entree just to get the way they like it. If that ain't me all day, <laughs> that is me all day. Oh my god. Then it says, what what is the Capricorn's favorite color? Capricorns prefer earthy shades like brown and khaki. What's my favorite color, y'all? If you've been watching TLE TV, what is my favorite color? That is so crazy. They don't wear red often, very often, but are partial to the shade, and that's so true. Like, I don't wear red a lot, but I, I do love the way it looks. I mean, that's so true. Mm -hmm. Some of this stuff I can't read. Why well, didn't see this one? Okay, it says, "What is a Capricorn soulmate?" I didn't see this one. The sun signs are most compatible with the Capricorn long term, but also uh, different enough to allow for Capricorn's emotional growth. Are the water signs of passionate Scorpio, gentle Pisces, and nurturing Cancer? Well, I didn't see that. <laughs> oh, you good for me? I know. <laughs> what? I know. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, but I thought that was cute. Like the stuff he was saying about food, and y'all were eating food. So what's that? Great. Oh, the, yeah, the cherry. Are I you smell it? You burped. Did mm -hmm. you burp? Oh, I smelled it. I drunk and breathe. So yeah, that was so cute. I didn't even read that part, but yes. like some of the stuff that they say about it. Next time we gonna read about you. Must be true. Next time mm -hmm. read about me. Next time we gonna read about cancer. Don't read about me. Don't read about them old cancers. You fool. Yeah. I can tell you so then. Oh, I gave you just enough. I thought it would be too much. That's perfect. You don't waste nothing? Mm-hmm. Well, Portion I Portion control? I still will, because I don't dip like you. Oh, you got to dip. You got to get up in there. You got to get up in there. You got to mm -hmm. turn. When you get up in there, you gotta, when you hit that block, you got to turn. When you hit that block, you got to... Mm. <laughs> but this was delicious, babe. Thank you for making our bison. Next time we know when we buy it, if we buy it again, you know, you got to do it a little under, even though it did look real juicy. It did. It did. Yeah. I probably could have put it in aluminum foil packs. And, and it's still just when you open it up. It's just, probably you just have to But open I did notice, I'm going to say this before we go. Uh -huh. I did notice when I was cooking the bison, it didn't cook like a regular hamburger. How'd it cook? It didn't make, like when I put these little ones on, that's the big one. That's the big one. Mm -hmm. um, I put the little ones on, and like any other hamburger, you can hear the fat dripping off. Yeah. Oh, so bison don't have a lot it, of fat. It didn't. It, that's why it's dry. It, okay, it, sorry. It, it didn't. Go ahead. It only sizzled when I pressed on it. Uh -huh. And usually when you press on a burger, it goes 
There's a lot of juice in it, mm -hmm. or fat. But that one, I had to press even hard and nothing came out. So I don't think it's fat. That makes in that sense. One. Yes. So maybe you have to buy your own fat and mix it together. Or maybe that's the reason why, you know when stuff's not fatty, they tell you don't cook it long. So you gotta eat that like mirror, mirror. Yes, you definitely do. Ooh, you have to rare. do. To, to, to get it, so that make that make a lot of sense. That's making a lot of sense. Wow! I bet you when we get off here, if we Google got bison burgers, they probably tell you, don't cook a long time. But we didn't look, I so didn't we know. didn't know. So yeah, that makes and a lot of sense. I thought it was too big. It wasn't gonna cook. Like I it know. Did. It cooked. It's super well, and, it it, and the thing about it is, it's not even burnt. No, it's not burnt anything. It's just dry. It don't have a lot of fat. No fat. Okay, so we. I'm gonna definitely look it up and see. So for next time, I would love to try this again for you to try it again. Yeah. That'd be I don't wonderful. know if I get the burger for me because if I gotta eat it later, like <laughs> like burger for me. But it's a good quality, so I think it would be good. So. Yeah. We'll see. Let us know down below if you want us to try it again. Give us your suggestions. If you know about bison, let us know. Give your uh, experiences with cooking the burger or the meat, actually. So, that's it in this out, y'all. Thank you for joining us on TV. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.